isang simbahan talaga na ano, isang pamayanan, hindi isang institusyon lang. Upang las, lalong mapaglingkuran at marating yung mga tao dahil ang diocese ay isa sa mga malalaking diocese. At ang ating pangarap ay ito lamang, simple simple Magkaisa ang mga pari sa pamamalakad ng obispo at magka, makaisa ng mga pari ang sambayan ng kristyan. Tahanan ng kapuspalad, kandungan ng kabanalan. Sa ganitong paraan, mailalarawan ang hinirang na simbahan na siya rin nagsilang sa unang republikang tanda ng kagitingan, sisidlan ng lahing dakila ang pamimintuho sa bayan. Itinatag na si Kristo ang buos parati at patuloy sa Diyos ito ang ating diocesis ng malolos. Kilala ang Bulacan sa maraming bagay, mula sa kaniyang kagitingan at himagsikan, hanggang sa kaniyang matulaing kultura at husay sa iba't ibang larangan. Ngunit lingid sa kaalaman ng marami, sinasalamin din ng Bulacan ang pagiging isang tahanan para sa mga kapuspalad at kandungan ng kabanalan sa pamamagitan ng kaniyang diocesis. Sa mismong loob ng diocesis, buhay ang buong simbahan. Pinamumuluan ito ng isang obispo kasama niya bilang mga katuwang niya ang mga kaparian. No? May iba't ibang mga parokya at iba't ibang mga komunidad na pinaglilingkuran ang mga pangit ito sa nga ng obispo. At ang mga manalang palataya ay nabubuo dahil sa paglilingkod ng obispo at mga pangit. Bago maging isang ganap na diocesis, ang Bulacan at ang mga simbahang nakapaloob rito ay bahagi lamang ng Archdiocese of Manila. Subalit dahil sa kalakihan ng lalawigan, minarapat ni Santo Papa Juan XXIII na gumawa ng isang desisyong magpapabago ng kapalaran ng lalawigan ng Bulacan. Hiniwalay ang Bulacan mula sa Archdiocese ng Maynila para makabuo ng sariling diocesis. Dati nga, nung panahon ng mga Kastila, isa na ang dati diocesis, buong Archdiocese of Manila. O, tapos, pumasok ng Cebu, Nueva Segovia, Nueva Cáceres, nahiwalay. So, kaya hindi po pwedeng maging isang napakalawak na, siguro for pastoral uh, effectivity, no? sa management ng, ng population, dapat na hihiwalay. No? At doon nga nabuo yung iba-ibang mga local churches o mga dioceses na dati nabibilang sa diocese of Archdiocese of Manila. Sa pagkakatalaga, bilang isang ganap na diocesis, ang malolos bilang supragano ng Archdiocese ng Maynila ay kinandili ng apat na hirang na obispo na sila lubhang kagalang-galang Manuel del Rosario, Cirilo Almario, Rolando Tria Terona at Jose Oliveros. Sa kanilang pamumuno, higit na umuspong at lumalim ang pananampalataya ng mga taga-Bulacan at mga dumarayo rito. May tatlong malalaking pamana ang mga naunang ubispo. Sa buong mundo, 
Mayroon lamang 1,757 Basilica Minore. Samantalang sa Pilipinas, mayroon lamang 15 Basilica Minore at napalad ang diocesis ng Malolos sapagkat tayo ang isa sa 15 ito. Sa katunayay ng ito'y i-apply natin ay itinanong, ano ang masasabi ninyo bakit ito kailangan gawing Basilica Minore? At ang sabi natin, ang marubdob na debosyon ng mga tao at ang talagang prueba nito ay ang napakaraming pari at bukasyon dito sa ating diocese. Yun ang una. Pangalawa ay yung dalawang tanda na makikita nyo sa gilid ng ating santuario sa katedral. Ito yung tinatawag na umbraculum at tintinabulum. Yung parang payong doon at yung kampana na tanda ng pagiging isang Basilica Minore. Bukod sa pagtatalaga sa katedral bilang isang minor basilica, binayayaan din ito ng Santo Papa ng maraming pambansa at pandiyosesis na dambana. May limang pandiyosesis na dambana at ito ang Diocesan Shrine of Nuestra Senora de la Immaculada Concepcion de Salambaw sa San Pascual Bailon Paris sa Ubando. Ang Diocesan Shrine of Mahal na Poon ng Cruz sa Wawa ng St. Martin of Tours Parish sa Bukawe, ang Diocesan Shrine in Parish of Sagrado Corazon de Jesus sa San Rafael, ang Diocesan Shrine in Parish of St. John the Baptist sa Kalumpit, at ang Diocesan Shrine of Mary, Mother of the Eucharist and Grace, House of Prayer sa Santa Maria. Ang isang national shrine ay pagkilala ng hindi na Santo Papa, kundi na kapulungan ng mga obispo sa Pilipinas na dito ay talagang ipinalaganap ang debosyon sa buong bansa. Ang pinakauna natin is the National Shrine of Fatima sa Valenzuela, the National Shrine of St. Anne sa Goloy, at yung ikatlo, yung National Shrine of the Divine Mercy sa Santa Rosa, Mangilao. Isang bagay na napakaganda sa diocese ay ang malalim na pananampalataya ng maraming mga tao na sa matagal na taon ng pagkatatag after 50 years na nagdiwang ng 2012 patuloy ang paglago ng diocese at ang yaman nito ay yung kanyang pananampalataya Kanlungan ng Kabanalan Dahil sa pananaw at adhikain ng ikalawang ubispo na si Reverendo Cirilo Almario, ang diocesis ng Malolos ngayon ay kinikilalang pinakamalaking diocesis sa buong Pilipinas at siya ring tahanan ng humigit sa dalawang daang pari. Maraming bagay na mayroon sa Diocese of Malolos na bukod tangi. Una, tayo ang pinakamalaking diocesis sa buong Pilipinas. Siyempre, hindi kasama dito yung mga arkidioseses at pinakamaraming pari at pinakamaraming parokya. Simple lamang noon ang pangarap ng ubispo, ang patatagin at hubugin ang pananalig ng mga mananang palataya. So, ang kanyang naging uh, uh, vision ay magkaroon ng sariling major seminary para hindi na tayo mag makiusap o magpakaawa pa sa ibang seminaryo na tanggapin ng mga seminarista. So, magmula noong 1983, sinimulan yung Prepetutic Year, no? tapos unti-unti, no? binuo niya sa pamamagitan ng pagsisikap ng isang tatay na gusto niya na masubaybayan ang kanyang mga anak. Tahanan para sa mga kapuspalad. Sa isa sa kanyang mga pahayag ay nabanggit ni Mother Teresa na hindi ang laki ng ating ibinigay ang magiging batayan. Sa halip ay kung gaano ang pag-ibig ng ating inilakip sa ating pagbabahagi. Ang ating diocesis ay buhay na patunay ng nasabing kataga. I always say that when the poor comes to us, for example, a street child or a beggar asking for help, should we say that Jesus loves you? or I will pray for you, should it not be that we provide a place for them where they can feel the love of God and foster our brotherhood with the poor? 
And so, with the establishment of the several mission houses in the diocese, we have provided them a home. We welcome the poor in the home, which is the diocese, the church, and the different institutions. Sa bisa ng unang sinodo ay naitatag ang iba't ibang institusyon na kawang gawa ang pundasyon, katulad halimbawa ng mga bahay ang punan, home for the aged, mga rehabilitation centers at marami pa. Kaakibat din ito ang pagtulong ng simbahan sa iba't ibang mga non-government at non-profit organizations. Nandito rin ang lahat ng klase ng ampun, bahay ampunan mula sa matanda, sa bata, sa mga homeless, sa mga drug addict, sa mga siraang ulo, sa katunayan ni nung mag, uh, Jubilee Year of Mercy at nagkaroon ng World Congress on the Divine Mercy. Ito'y nadalaw ng maraming mga delegado mula rin sa iba't ibang bansa. I always say also that service to the poor is the real authority. And the church should be known by its compassion and mercy to the least of our brethren. It's about time. And it's always an ongoing call for all of us to be sensitive and be always ready to notice and be receptive of the cry of the poor in our midst. They are everywhere. And when we find them, we give them the embracing love of Christ through our persons. Sa ilalim ng ulap, sa gintong silahis isinilang. Ang tamba ng Diyos ang lumalang, Diyos ang luminang. Sa batong si Kristo ang pundasyon, si Kristo ang karangalan, itinatag ang simbahang, malolos ang pangalan. Kubli sa kabatiran ng marami sa atin, ang tahanan ng unang republika at duya ng magiting, ito rin ang kandungan ng masidhing panalangin ang lalawigan ay sandigan ng mga banal na simulain. Hinubog ng kabanalan ng mga una mong ubispo sa kabutihan ni Del Rosario at pangarap ni Almario. Sa pag-ibig ni Tirona at Oliveros na lalong nagpasigasig sa iyo nakamit mo ang pangako ng kinintuang Jubileo. Hindi lamang taal ng kagiting ang lubos na sa pagkaalipit ka rin lay na unang humilagpos ikaw din ay tanda ng diwang dahil sa Diyos ikaw ang hinirang na diocesis ng malolos Ngayon po meron na tayong panlimang ubispo ng ating diocesis na way patuloy pa na umunlad ang ating pakikibahagi sa mga gawain ng simbahan. Kaya nga sa pagdating ng panglimang obispo, panibagong ama ng diocese, ay nandun na layunin ng higit na mas malalim at buhay na pananampalataya. Siya ay handog ng Panginoong Diyos sa ating handog ni Jesus sa ating iglesia, sa ating munting pamayanan dito sa Malolos. We join together as one community, as one family, to make our diocese a home for the very poor that are crying for help. Yung pare, nakalubog sa tao. And dear, yung paglubog din sa tao ito ay hindi simply being one with them and one of them. Nandoon siya as a leader in the midst of communion. Siya ang magiging tanda para sa ating lahat na ang ating pagkawag ay isa. O man ay ubispo, pari, religyoso, laiko, ano ang tawag? Pating ba natin? I bet it will be a renewal for all of us in terms of our faith experience. Kasama natin si Jesus sa paglalakbay. At kung kasama natin si Jesus, kaya nating harapin ang anumang mga bagay. 
Tahanan ng kapuspalad, kanluan ng kabanalan. Magalak ka at bagtiwang aking sambayanan. Magpatuloy ka sa iyong paglilingkod sa Diyos sapagkat ikaw ang hinirang kong diosesis ng malulos. Basilika Minore na Imakulada Konsepsyon sa Malolos ay saksi sa daloy ng kasaysayan ng bayan na ito at ng matibay at buhay na pananampalataya ng mga malulenyo. Mula sa simpleng kapilya sa Pook Kanalate, kung saan ipinunla ang pananampalatayang Kristiyano sa Malolos ng mga paring Agustino, ang katedral ngayon ay testamento sa kasaysayan ng bayan, diocesis at ng bansang Pilipinas. Noong Setyembre 1878 hanggang Marso 1889, kinamit ni General Emilio Aguinaldo ang kumbento at ang simbahan bilang palasyo presidensyal ng Pangulo ng Unang Republika ng Pilipinas. Bierne Santo noong ikatatlumput isa ng Marso 1889, inutusan niya si General Antonio Luna na sunugin ng kumbento at ang simbahan kasama ang tansong altar upang walang materang mapakikinabangan ang mga Amerikano. Ang simbahan ay sumailalim sa ilang pagbabago at pagawain para sa paghahanda nito sa pagpapasinaya bilang katedral pang diocesis. Gayun din ang pagkapasinaya sa una nitong ubispo, Manuel del Rosario, noong Marso ng taong 1862. Ang imahe ng Birhing Imakulada Konsepsyon na makikita sa itaas ng kampanaryo ay mula sa kagandahang loob ni Amparo Bautista Julian. Giniba ang communion rail at isinaayos muli ang sangtwaryo ng katedral para sa pagtatalaga ng pangalawa nitong ubispo, si Rilo Almario Jr. noong Desyembre 1876. Ang stained glass na kinatatampukan ng larawan ng Birhen ng Lourdes at Miraculous Medal ay inilagay rin sa magkabilang bintana ng sangtwaryo. Ang pinakamatutunghayang katangian ng katedral ay ang bahagyang pabilog na arko nito sa babang bahagi na nagpapamalas ng impluensyang barok. Ang patrayanggulong palamuting pinatingkad lalo ng nakausling pasimano ay makikita sa ibabaw at gitnang bahagi ng harapan. 
kasama sa dekorasyon ang mga animong sulok na palumuti sa ibabaw. Matutunghayan din ang mga triglyph at makikita ang sagisag ng mga Agustino sa gitnang bahagi. Sa mismong itaas, katapat ng altar at retablo, ay dalawang pintang larawan ni Aris Bagtas. Ang nasa dulong larawan na nagpapakita ng istorya ng paglikha at ang lumang Eva at Adan ay nasa inkulturadong interpretasyon. Ang kabilang larawan naman ay ang konsepto ng bagong Eva at Adan sa katauhan ni Jesus habang kinokoronahan ng kanyang inang si Maria, naliligiran ng pitong arkanghel at labing dalawang bituin na sumisimbolo sa labing dalawang tribo ng Israel. Ang bagong retablo sa kaliwang bahagi ay kinatatampukan ng mga imahe ng iba't ibang santo na naging bahagi at instrumento ng kasaysayan ng diosisis ng malolos. Sa ilalim ng dome ay makikita ang apat na ebanghelista na guhit ng kilalang bulakenyong pintor na si Seling Marasigan. Ang mga larawan ay nakalagay sa kahoy na kwadra na mayroong mga simbolong bulak at mga prutas ng bulakan na gawa ng mag-aamang Tony Magtoto. Sa kaliwat ka ng bahagi ng sangtwaryo, makikita ang larawang pinta ni Jose Kawili na nagpapakita ng tablo ng anunsasyon at pagdalaw ng anghel kay Birheng Maria. Ang mga stained glass na panel ay nagpapakita ng mga patron ng siyam na nasasakupang bikarya ng diosesis ng Malolos. Kilala sa tawag na trono ng ubispo na ginagamit karaniwan sa liturhikal na selebrasyon. Ito ay sumisimbolo sa pagtuturo ng kapangyarihan ng ubispo sa simbahan. Mayroong tatlong pinto sa harapan ng katedral. Ang pinto ng muling pagkabuhay, ang pinto ni Maria, at ang pinto ng buhay na siya rin tinatawag na Jubilidor. Ito ay bukas tuwing taon ng Jubilee. Matutunghayan sa mga nakaukit sa pinto ng buhay ang mga imaheng naglalarawan ng buhay. Ang pinto ng muling pagkabuhay ay naglalarawan ng mga imahe ng kawalang hanggan. Samantalang ang pinto ni Maria ay tungkol sa iba't ibang tagpo sa buhay ng mahal na ina. Ang dalawang pinto sa gilid ng basilika ay may ukit ng labing dalawang sagisag ng Imakulada Konsepsyon na hango sa tradisyong Kristiyano. Ito ang Basilika Minore ng Imakulada Konsepsyon. Saksi sa daloy ng kasaysayan at ng matibay at buhay na pananampalataya ng mga malulenyo.
Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome as we gather in spirit tonight to pray the 11th Healing Rosary for the world here at the Immaculate Conception Parish Cathedral and Minor Basilica in the city of Malolos, Bulacan. As a family of God, let us unite our prayers in this sanctuary of faith in front of the revered canonically crowned image of the Virgen Immaculada Concepcion de Malolos, Mother and Queen of the Diocese. Together with His Excellency, Most Reverend Dennis Cabanada Villarojo Didi, Bishop of Malolos, let us unite all our intentions for the healing of the world and for the protection of everyone against the impending threat of this pandemic. May we all draw strength from God's love and mercy and learn from the lived faith of Mary, whose testimony of powerful intercession relentlessly inspires the lives of the people from the whole province of Bulacan and other nearby places. With Mary, our patroness, let us humbly beseech the throne of mercy for our beloved country and for the world. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord. From the Gospel according to Luke. And Jesus said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. We offer this decade for the sick, especially those afflicted by COVID-19, the poor and the vulnerable. May they be brought to health once again and be consoled by our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my Jesus, Forgive us our sins, save, save us, us from the fires of hell, lead all souls, souls to heaven, especially those who need most need of your mercy. second glorious mystery Jesus ascends into heaven from the Acts of the Apostles when they had gathered together they asked him Lord are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel he answered them it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the father established by his own authority but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly, Two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven.
we offer this decade for those serving in the front line, the medical workers, hospital staff, security forces, pharmacy staff, supermarket employees, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and in our government. May they be strengthened and be inspired by the Holy Spirit in their selfless act of service. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in need of most of your mercy.
the third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. From the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. We offer this decade for countries that are greatly affected by the crisis. The United States of America, Brazil, Spain, Italy, France, Germany, the United Kingdom, and our own country. May the Lord rescue us from this disease and lead us to full recovery. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save, Save us from, from the fires of hell, hell lead and lead all souls, souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy.
our glorious mystery, Mary is assumed body and soul into heaven. From the book of Judith, You are the glory of Jerusalem, the surpassing joy of Israel. You are the splendid boast of our people. God is pleased with that you have wrought. May you be blessed by the Lord Almighty forever and ever. We offer this decade for our families and loved ones. May the Lord Jesus protect us from all disease, danger, and harm. May the Holy Spirit continue to inspire us in this moment of crisis to open our hearts in charity and solidarity with our brothers and sisters, especially the poor. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save, Save us, us from the fires of hell. Lead, lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially those in most need of your mercy. mercy. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
the peep glorious mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. From the Book of Revelation, a great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. We offer this mystery for souls of the faithful departed, especially those who have passed away because of the virus. May our loving Father welcome them to the eternal home prepared for them. May Our Lady console their families who are suffering from their loss at this moment. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save, save us, us from, from the fires, fires of hell, hell. lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your of mercy. Your mercy.
Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant to beseech Thee that while meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In spiritual union with Pope Francis during this ongoing coronavirus emergency, let us entrust ourselves to Our Lady. O Mary, you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the foot of the cross were united with Jesus' suffering and persevered in your faith. Protectress of the Roman people, you know our needs, and we know that you will provide so that, as at Cana in Galilee, joy and celebration may return after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father and to do what Jesus tells us. For he took upon himself our suffering and burdened himself with our sorrows to bring us to the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions. In our necessities, but deliver us always from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. We now plead to the Father as one church, and trust to Him who accompanies us and strengthens our faith. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata against COVID-19 pandemic. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Plenary indulgence is gained by those who offer certain prayers. Holy Rosary included, for an end to the pandemic under the usual conditions like communion, confession, and the prayers for the intentions of the Holy Father, with the will to fulfill this as soon as possible. We now pray for the intention of our Holy Father, Francis. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I would like to thank all of you who prayed with us at this healing rosary. In particular, I would like to thank the Manila Cathedral for this initiative through its rector, Reverend Father Reginald Malikdin, the priests, religious and parish communities, the families and individuals who joined in our healing rosary for the world our partner churches and other institutions, the Parish Commission on Social Communications of the Malolos Cathedral, as well as the Saint, the Social Communications Committee of Saint Ildefonso Parish in Giginto. Thank you, everybody. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people. Keep them safe. Defend them. Prepare them. That free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love. To Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. And give Him thanks.